process one enters the system so process one enters the critical region now if we follow step by step already this has been done by the system second thing what it will do because process one has already entered it will make next one possible to enter that is turn would be made to two mm. now making this capable of entering but when process one gets out of it till that time till that time process two would be waiting process one enters the critical region performs its necessary task and then make its own flag as false so this becomes false this becomes false so reminder section will enable process two to enter so process two has its own flag as true and through process one the turn has been made to allowing the system to enter critical region this can be soon understood for n number of processes because the array will go and turn will go from i to n where i is the first process and n would be the last process so if we see zigzag manner so if we see zigzag manner the system is fairly simple process one enters make its flag true and turn would be given to two enters the critical region and then control goes to the next process two has already made its flag true but next time turn if we want to talk about would be given to one again enters the critical region and the next would be again coming back this will continue in a zigzag manner as we have said after understanding peterson's algorithm let's try to understand how the system is going to work with reference to three main parameters three main parameters as we have said earlier were one mutual exclusion in this algorithm mutual exclusion is achievable because at a time only one process can enter this happens due to the condition which we have used because when j wants to enter and the turn comes to j that's the only time it can enter until and unless it is going to wait for a finite amount of time second is the point called progress the system progresses because when process i is accessing the data it has already made provision for the next one by making turn equal to j as we can see over here the system also has bounded weight because the system supports collaborative processing and will allow only one process to access for finite amount of time so all three are taken care of